up you guys it's Katya and welcome to the suck now it's been over a month since I last reacted to episode 2 of the walking dead season 11 um, a lot of things have happened if you guys are subscribed to my channel you probably noticed all the content I have been releasing lately um, I did do a whole binge watch of fear the walking dead's first half of season 7 and then now I am doing reactions to new shows and I also did my vlog when I went to Atlanta um, this March when I went so yeah so a lot of things have been happening um, don't think I forgot about The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead World Beyond another reason why I haven't done any Walking Dead reactions is because I have been updating my intro so if you guys want to go ahead and restart this video and take notice that I did uh, update my intro of The Walking Dead without further ado let's cut the chit chat and let's get to watching episode 3 of The Walking Dead Whoa, I've never seen The Walking Dead in such high quality. Holy shit, it's so loud. Oh, they're retreating, they're retreating. Oh, I'm digging this. They killed... No. No way, Negan's hurt. Oh, fuck. <gasps> no, 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 Gabriel. You're kidding me. Everyone just got <gasps> massacred. <gasps> no. Uh-uh. Um. Oh, and this music's not making anything better. No, I'm really digging The Walking Dead in this new light. Oh shit! Holy shit, they killed almost everybody. Oh my god, Magna. I haven't seen her in forever. The fact that I literally saw the gates just a month ago is just crazy. Not the inside, but I did see the windmill. Wow, even Aaron's doing this shit one-handed, yes. Oh my god, the children! They look so bored. <laughs> this is what the apocalypse will do to you guys. Okay, so where are the survivors? Or is it? I mean, I know Maggie and Daryl probably already survived this. We saw Elijah, but Elijah got taken with a rope. Mm -mm. <gasps> oh shit, they found her ass. Oh my god, run, Maggie, run. Uh oh. So this used to be a mall. Oh, this is so scary. I feel like this is a trap in some sort of way. It looks too clean to be an abandoned mall. Oh shit! And the fucking walker took her flashlight. <gasps> no fucking way, this is horror! 
is giving me Fear Street vibes just now. Oh my god. Wait, I didn't hear him, right? That was such a creepy moment. Oh my god, that was iconic. Oh my god, Gabriel, are you okay? Hmm. I wouldn't have done that. Oh, so that's a reaper. Oh, he's gonna kill his ass. This is too creepy. There's mannequin bodies. Uh-uh. I have a bad feeling about this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Get out of there, Maggie, please. So is it a mall or a department store? It looks, it's giving more of a department store type of thing, like Sears or, you know, back in what we had in the old days, Big Lots or something, I don't know. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. That's Elijah's, right? No. That is Elijah's. They're really ruthless, Jesus Christ. Oh, Maggie, yes! Where did you pick this up, girl? Oh. <laughs> yes! Fucking right, Negan! Oh, shit! These people are really the real deal. See? Same oh, damn. Good, huh? I think walk. Not gonna know until we try. Well, you're not seriously thinking that we keep going. They'll be back. We gotta keep moving. All right, wait. What exactly is the plan here? The plan doesn't change. So what is it? Just keep going. Oh my god, Rosita on the screen too? We haven't seen her in a while either. This episode just keeps on giving. Yeah, it's just that Gabriel's on a mission and I'm over being stuck in the house. Oh! All right. Why would you guys do This is giving. This is really, this is what I needed. No. Damn it. Four times the charm. We're gonna move on. But having dreams about Abraham recently. Yeah? Yeah, he's trying to tell me something. Oh, like what? I can't hear him most of the time and just when I'm about to. Why is she dreaming about Abraham? Uh, it used to freak me out, but now I think it's a message for us, for Alexandria. Maybe he's trying to see. For us? Oh shit, I, I actually skipped this little posse. <laughs> um, usually us, um, you know, since I'm Mexican, we tend to have these like theories. Um, if you dream of yourself drowning, if you, if you dream of uh, like falling, Every dream has a significance of like a message that's coming through and since she's having Abraham tell her something and he kept, keeps on getting shot, it seems like she needs to do something. Like she just said, it's something for like Alexandria, but there's got to be a meaning that her dead ex-boyfriend keeps appearing in a dream trying to tell her something and once he, she's trying to hear him, like if he's far away, he ends up like dying. So. It's like she's probably just not reaching or doing everything in her full potential probably in my opinion i don't know what are you guys theories of why she keeps on dreaming about abraham i know many of you guys are up to date but you know i'm episode three so i don't know so let me know what you guys are your theories please no spoilers 
um, why she's having those dreams and if you guys believe in that too. So let's get back into it. What was it? typical horror movie you're gonna go to the noise that made the noise while you're home alone okay yeah Agatha. oh man he's dead I hate when good people die in the Walking Dead universe it's just the worst Wow, okay. A horse graveyard. They've been eaten by walkers. Jesus. Horses never tend to live that long here in the walking bag universe. Oh man. What? Four of them. Yes, Rosita. I really wish The Walking Dead would stop killing off horses, though. They're so cute. Oh, he's crazy. Oh, girl, after all you did, or well, you guys. Not anymore, right? God isn't here anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I'm scared of Gabriel. Oh. Yeah. Judas? Probably a betrayer in the group of the Reapers, right? All right, Negan, come on. Yo, no! Oh, damn. Oh, Maggie almost died, dude. If it wasn't for Negan. And she, now she's lost everybody she was with. Um, 
She's gonna kill the horse, isn't she? I know it. I know it. Damn it! They need something to survive though. She's not wrong! Oh my god! Shit. It needs to be done. Herschel's so experienced. I love him. <laughs> oh, he put the whole thing in. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at Coco. Oh, she's about to snap. But you don't get to decide who lives and who dies anymore. It's your fault. You're right here. It's your fault. Because you destroyed everything that we built. Technically, it was the whispers because Alexander is blown up to smithereens because of the whispers, but I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, take me inside or anything because I'm, I'm not really on his side, but he is, they're in the position because of the whispers, Maggie, and you weren't here to see it. We all did. Even Negan joined in to take down Alpha, so. He's gonna die, isn't he? He's dead. Oh my god, the, the song in the background. Well. This episode was something. Um, I was truly <laughs> excited um, in the beginning of the episode. It, it started off super action-y and chaos going everywhere, people dying. Knives were thrown, <laughs> everything. It was really good. Um, I just feel like we lost a little bit of the of the hype that we had in the beginning of the episode. I promise this isn't the last time you will see of, see of me. It won't take a month to come back and react to episode four. I will try to make a schedule so I can release a couple episodes each week to be able to be caught up by the time the next half of the season, well, the final half of the season of The Walking Dead. Um, if you guys are interested in my other reactions, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter at It's Iscatia or just click on the links in the description. So other than that, I will see you guys in the next reaction. Bye, guys.